Hello everyone, this is Virain Baird and welcome back to another Facebook marketing tutorial. In this tutorial, you're going to learn about creating offers on Facebook. So Facebook gives an option to every business owner, every page owner actually, to create offers and share those offers on Facebook. Your users can have a look at these offers. Uh, if it's an online offer, they can get the code, visit your website, use it and make a purchase. If it's an offline code, they can take a printout or save it on their phone and carry it with themselves. Show the code offline at your store. So even if you have an offline store, you might want to give Facebook offers a try. So let's get started and create offers. You'll first have to go to settings to activate the offers tab on your page. So go to edit page. Add a tab. And as you can see, there is one tab here called offers. Let's add it. You can change the position of this tab on your page. If you go under settings, you can decide whether you want to keep the tab or switch it off. And there's also a URL to the tab. Let's save this, go back to the page. And as you can see, there is an offers tab here. Let's click on it. And this is your offers tab. You can now create offer to attract customers. You can share discounts on the page. Let's create an offer. Now the screen is divided into two halves. On the left hand half, you will create your offer. And on the right hand half, you will see how the offer looks on desktop or the mobile newsfeed. You first begin by choosing whether it's an online offer, an in-store offer or both. So if it's an online offer, you will have to provide a URL for the web page where the user can go to claim the offer. You have to select the type of offer. Is it a percent off, amount of, buy one, get one free, or is it free stuff? Followed by providing the value, a title, and the description of your offer. You can add photos and videos to the post if you, feel, if you want to. Add an expiration date the discount code which is optional now what happens is if you add the code and share it the post will have a call to action called get offer and on clicking on this offer your facebook fan will get to see the code and save it add terms and conditions if there is any applicable for your offer you can also mention the total number of offers available in case you want to give out only 100 coupons you can write 100 here if your offer is an in-store offer then you don't have to give a url but you do have to provide other all the other options one great feature here is instead of a discount code you can also give a barcode you can select the kind of barcode reader you use at your store and add the number here again you can limit the total number of offers you want to give out so if say you were supposed to mention 100 here so Facebook would let only 100 users click on get offer and claim the barcode or the discount code. Few things you should keep in mind about Facebook offers is that every time a user claims an offer, it gets saved onto a section in the mobile app and desktop as well. If there's an expiration date on your offer, say March 7th, then the user will get a notification before March 7th that the offer is expiring. So that kind of a notification could also trigger purchase on your website so it's it's a great tool to use so if you do have an online or an offline store and you would like to drive some conversions please try to use facebook offer and and see if it works for you as you can see on the normal news feed now there is something called offers where all the offers that a user claims can be found here that's it for this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you have a friend who has an online or an offline store please share this video with them so that they can make full use of facebook offers
Thank you and have a great day.